Hey guys, it's Tilly, and I swear one day I will go back to posting videos regularly. At the moment, I just can't seem to reach that deadline. But I mean, it's kind of a funny story. Like, some aspects of my life have been uprooted lately, and a lot of things have changed. And it's mostly for the better, so I'm kind of trying to fit into this new schedule and also still learn how to be happy. But it's all just like really new. It's kind of like the unexpected everything. It just took like a split second and so much has changed in the last few months. But I'm gonna be pretty hush-hush about it all because it's kind of like my private life and stuff. But I can say that I have not been on Tinder and I have not been- oh god no. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to uh, wing uh this one. Basically, I'm just a passenger on this thing that we call life and I'm pretty happy right now so hopefully it'll continue to stay that way and... Wait, what? Um... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do that the entire video. This video is actually going to be about books that I love. And for those of you who might have seen my kind of parallel video to this, it was books that I hate. That one generated a lot of views and responses, and for good reason too. I think a lot of people like to thrive off negativity in a way, but just because I have one video on books that I don't like does not mean that there isn't a huge pile of books that I don't love. And I really, really am so passionate about so many books, so I'm going to show you guys my favourites. I don't even know what the actual list is going to be yet, I'm just going to look around and grab them off the shelf and make you guys want to read them. The first one is obviously a given and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a historical fiction novel and it is absolutely fantastic, it is set in World War II and follows the story from a quite peculiar perspective, but mostly it follows the story of a young girl called Liesl Memminger who is just amazing. It is it is a really, really phenomenal story and the book's amazing and the writing and Marcus Zuzak is just fantastic and if you guys haven't read this yet on my recommendation then do you guys even really listen to me? This next one is basically what I call like the not YA version of this, I guess like the adult fiction kind of YA version. And it is The All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. This too is just like absolutely fantastic. Same kind of story, it is historical fiction it follows it during the war and it's just, yeah, emotional, heartbreaking and fantastic all at once. This next one is loved by so many and that is the Six of Crows duology. So the first book is Six of Crows and the second one is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is a fantasy series that is epic and bloody and fantastic. It has characters that are problematic and diverse and they're amazing and you're going to love them despite all their flaws as well and this book is just... It's amazing. There's so many plots and twists and you just keep on turning that page and I swear like I just am so <sighs> emotional about this story still and I finished it so long ago. This next book is a little underrated if you ask me and that is Bird by Crystal Chan. This is a contemporary book about a young girl called Jewel and the day that Jewel is born her older brother dies and so she kind of lives in his shadow and it's a really emotional read but it's really really good. If you guys like blood and gore and death and all that amazing stuff you guys will love The Enemy by Charlie Higson. This follows the story of basically like a zombie apocalypse but everyone over the age of 13 got turned into these zombies so you're basically following these young kids as they are trying to survive in London and it is so amazing. I loved these books so so much and I wish a lot more people had read them. The Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. The first book is The Knife of Never Letting Go. This is a dystopia trilogy and I read this book maybe about like four or five years ago now and it's still one that sits really high on my list. I really enjoyed it and it has quite an original idea and plus it has like animals in it and I love animals so it's just it's really really good and pretty much from the very first sentence of this book I knew I was going to enjoy it. <clears throat> the first thing you find out when your dog learns to talk is that dogs don't got nothing much to say about anything. Need a poo Todd. Shut up Manchi. Poo. Poo Todd. I said shut it. You guys want to read it now, don't you? Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens. And this is definitely one of the higher books on my favourites list. I love everything about this. It is a contemporary, it has a bit of romance, it has a lot of emotional heartbreak, and it has characters that you guys will love. One of the most magical books I have ever read. This storytelling in this is just A++, and the world's building, and you can just see it so clearly in your mind, and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. These next 
next two series, although they are very different, are also kind of similar in the same boat of this magical world with these characters that you love and you just really are addicted to the series. The first one is Akane by Lynette Noni. This is an incomplete series as now. Drake Cora, which is the third book, and it comes out very, very soon, so you guys should probably read this now so you guys can join in on the party. And the next one is Cinder by Marissa Myers. It's part of the Lunar Chronicles series, and um, this one is complete now, so this is also the perfect time for you guys to marathon read it because it is fantastic. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. Like I said, I really do love animals in books, and this one has plenty of horses that are horrible deadly creatures and I just love the idea of that and the story and the way it's executed and it's just yeah it was good. This one is kind of two. I don't actually have the second book with me at the moment I've learned it out but whenever I mention one of these books I kind of mention them both together. It comes like a bundle to me because they both gave me so many raw emotions and these are two amazing poetry books which I definitely recommend to you guys. The first one is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace and the other one is Milk and Honey by Rupi Kerr. This next book became one of my favourites after I became emotionally destroyed by it, which is obviously like the best kind of books, and that is The Sidekicks by Will Kostakis. In this you had four friends, and basically three of them had one mutual friend, and that's how they all got along, but when that one mutual friend dies the three of them have to try to figure out how their lives move on from there, whether it would be all of them together, or whether it would just be them going on with their lives separately. Once again, if you guys like a bit of gore and death and zombie-like attitude in books, you guys should read Ashes by Ilsa J. Bick. This series is also another one that's like totally underrated. It is a trilogy and it is really, really, really good. I love it so, so much. In fact, I kind of want to do a reread of it. This is the last one and I'm pretty sure that I have a lot more books that I do love and I probably have forgotten a few, but either way, I hope that you guys are telling me books that you guys love down below and I'm sure my list will continue to grow. The last one that I have is Where by Meg Caddy. This is probably one of my favourite twists on werewolves in any story ever and it is really well executed and the writing is really fantastic. So I do recommend that you guys pick this up. I guarantee you will enjoy it. It is a standalone as well so you don't have to get like fully committed to a series to really really enjoy it. Well it looks like that we have reached the end of this video. You guys can relax and unwind and hopefully I shall see you guys again soon and until then have a lovely bookish day and I will see you next time. Bye.